Good afternoon, Chairman and Co-Chairman. Today, I would like to present my research. I am Dr. Nikom Nuri from the Jula Longkorn Hospital, Bangkok. The radio recency line allowed the tibial component after the total neatoplasty or unique compartmental neatoplasty may be misinterpreted at the site of loosening. The recent studies show high incidence of the uh, tibial radio recency in the cobalt chromium implant in both TKA and the UKA. But there is no study comparison about the incidence of the tibial radio recency between the cobalt chromium and titanium tray in the fixed bearing UKA. This is a retrospective study. The tibial tray were constructed by the cemented fixed bearing media UKA. The first group, uh, the tibial tray was the titanium implant, and the second group, the tibial tray was the cobalt chromium implant. We assess the critical and x ray at a minimum two years follow up and we collect the knee score, pain score, and lucian rate. The surgical technique was similar in both groups. The tibia was cut 0 to 1 mm below the medial defects. Two radiographics show the five zone in the AP wheel. It referenced from the previous study. 124 fixed bearing medial UKA were included in our study from the 2011 to 2016. The finally, uh, 67 knee were the titanium tray and the 62 knee were the cobalt chromium tray. The more graphic data. We found that the ASP of alignment and the mean follow up didn't differ significantly in, in our study, but there are more unilateral than bilateral UKA in our study. The result radio lucency is the most common in the zone 1 30% and the zone 5 26%, at least in the zone 2 5%. And there is no complete radio recency in the worst study. Knee score and pain score were similar at the final follow up between each group. The incidence of the radio recency at the one year were 28.3% in the titanium group and 33.1% in the cobalt chromium group. This table shows high significant in the cobalt chromium tray about a 69.2% at the latest follow-up in the cobalt chromium group. This picture shows the radio recency in the titanium group and the cobalt chromium group. Discussion. The tibial radio recency is the most common radiographic finding in the UKA regarding of the implant material and the bearing type. The incident was varied by the material, the titanium was at the cobalt chromium. Our results show the incident of the radio recency in titanium were similar to the previous report. And high radio recency was found in the cobalt chromium group when compared to the current cemented mobile bearing UKA. So the radio recency was the physiologic change rather than sign of loosening. The BMI, both quality and activity didn't associate the radio recency. And there is no effects on the short and medium term clinical outcome. And no revision case in the tibial component loosening from the complete radio recency in our study. In conclusion, we demonstrate a high incidence of the early tibial radio recency in fixed bearing UKA with the cobalt chromium tibial component. Although this radio recency does not the main cause of early implant failure and did it let patient dissatisfaction, code of observation of this patient is necessary. Limitation of our study. There is no correlation between the alignment of tibial cutting and the occurrence of the radio recency. And implant and design were different in this group. We require the large number for the future study and this is the midterm outcome. Thank you. Thank you.